Superhero Slime is coming back this June! Yeah, baby! Woo! That's my colleague, oh my Aaron God. Hansen. He's very excited because Ow. he and I will be touring around the United Down States this summer. Down touring! Dude! Doing a live show with fun and games for your amusement, merriment, and joy. Yeah, baby! You, come on! <laughs> you get tickets to a show near you at GameGrumps.com slash live. Ow! June, baby! Come on! Game is live! Ow! Oh God! All right? Somebody take me to a doctor. It's not all right. We're coming to San Jose on June 1st. Seattle on June 3rd. Denver on June 5th. Oklahoma City on June 7th. Austin on June 8th. Orlando on June 10th. Atlanta on June 11th. Nashville on June 13th. Raleigh on June 15th. Tyson, Virginia on June 16th. New York City on June 18th. Philadelphia on June 19th. Well, no, I do, you gotta, if, it's only if you're from there. Boston on June 21st. Albany, New York on June, t 22nd. No, don't do that. Uh, Sorry. Toronto on June 24th. Uh, Cleveland, June 25th. St. Paul on June 28th. And Chicago on June 29th. That's... What are you, what are you from me? <laughs> Last time on Game Grumps. It's funny, too, because he's got, like, a gross bear face. But then when he talks to you, he's like, Hello. My name's Arnold. Same. <laughs> so... You don't have a gross bear face, dude. Thank you. Don't be so hard on yourself. You know what? You know, I'm sick of people being so dang hard on themselves all the time. You know what I mean? It's just a joke. Yeah, but like, there's some truth. Because you do have a better- no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over here, dude. Come on, I want to stab you. Ew, 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 ew. Why? Why the juice? <laughs> why, why the milk? Whenever you slash me, it makes me come on. <laughs> Do it again! Oh, I'm dead! Hey, I'm Grump! I'm not so Grump! And we're the Game Grumps! Three... Two... One... Oh, mama, we have liftoff! It's Game Grumps time! Oh, we're going into the stratosphere with all the yucks and yucks that you'll be experiencing on today's episode of Game Grumps! Created by... Starring... <laughs> you just add in whoever you want at home. <laughs> Created by Dwayne the Rock Johnson! <laughs> Randall! <laughs> wow. We've never talked about Randall before, but uh, yeah. He's a, he's a big, big part of the Inception. We don't talk about Randall. Oh, shit. <laughs> I watched that new Disney movie that everyone's talking about, Enchanto. Um, wizards, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it was especially funny because that's not the most recent Disney movie that came out. Is that right? <laughs> Fucking Turning Red came out. What the hell is Turning Red? <laughs> <laughs> Never even heard of that. <laughs> butt's gonna be red. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna make a Turning Red joke because you talked about Encanto and I was like, oh, that's, that's like last year's news. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> That rules. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh. Oh, you troll. <laughs> mm. He's like an internet troll, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just fucking die already. Just fucking <laughs> die or Did the other trolls- Oh, wow. Jeez, oh, that's lasted longer than I thought it would. He's the only troll I've seen that- Oh, God. He's got like a helmet? That wears a helmet, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, some of them have personality. It, yeah, it really is- Based on oh. the pre oh damn, Boy, based he really on the got me with previous that troll faces, like it was very courteous. <laughs> it's an improvement for yeah. sure. Yeah, he um, still got to look at his open guts, but uh... I'll take what I can or have to can get. We have to got to get a got a bit of a baghead going on there, which is nice. <laughs> Rest at the sight of grace. Grace comes out like get out of here. I'm so <laughs> sick of people showing up. Yeah, this isn't an Airbnb. I don't want to look at you. It's a sight. <laughs> I want to protect my sight from you. Oh, fucking wolf, chill out. God, so he's just hopping around, being a wolf. Being a wolfy, who's above, who's a wolfy bear? <laughs> oh, now you woke up the sorcerer. A fucking wolf. He's gonna perform enchantos. <laughs> he's gonna enchant all my red. <laughs> What the heck is Turning Red? It's a- it's a movie about a girl, she turns into a panda. Really? Yeah. Huh. Alright. There's a bunch of, like, you know, metaphorical, allegorical... <laughs> ...things going on there, too. Metasnorical. Yeah. Fingerforical. 
Because as there always is with those kinds of movies. Yeah, it's beautiful, so I've heard. I've, I'm sure it is. I've never, I haven't seen it, but everybody who saw it seemed to like it. It's interesting. I feel like that's the fourth Disney movie where people have turned into bears of some kind. Yeah, that's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to like, because it's like, oh, cute. And then when you get older, you're like, oh my God, that movie was about this, you know? Oh, sure, sure. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's easy to sort of like, to sort of represent like a change in someone or like a, you know. Right. Some kind of internal struggle when it's, God damn it. Oh, you keep getting me mad. You're going to want to leash the bear. <laughs> <laughs> the bear inside. When it's, uh, you know, like they turn, they literally turn into something. Mm. Brother bear, someone turned into a bear. Right, yeah. Uh, Brave had someone turned into a bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I bet, I bet there's another one I can't think of. Winnie the Pooh? Uh, he was always a bear. Yeah, but he turned into a poo. Um. And then turned back into a bear, I believe. What the fuck? I, I may not remember Are you that talking correctly. talking about <laughs> You don't, you don't remember the Winnie the Pooh where he turns into a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> and then returns to bear form at the end? Well, and, they say and rabbits like, oh fuck. Well, <laughs> his name is. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because his name is Winnie. Yep. But nobody calls him Winnie. They call him Pooh. Yeah. And he's he's a Pooh bear. Right. Which is not. Which I'm still fairly unclear yeah, on. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. Oh okay. I think he's just a stuffed bear, and then they, come on, attack me, inadvertently attacking them. Have you ever had someone tell you a joke that's so bad that it sticks with you in your memory far longer than good jokes do? Oh yeah. You have an example? Yeah. Was it one of mine? No. <laughs> it was years ago. I, he must not have told it correctly, but the I don't even remember the premise. But like the. There was a bear and a rabbit, and at the end, the bear grabs the rabbit and wipes his ass with him. And, and <laughs> <laughs> but that's how, like, it, it was. The punchline was delivered. That's how it was delivered. It was like, so the bear took the rabbit and wiped his ass with him. <laughs> what the hell just happened? I can't get that time back, man. I'm closer to death. <laughs> yeah, that's true of a lot of things. And all I have to show for it is this bear rabbit scenario. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, that was 20 years ago, and it's still but with there, me to this day. There was like day. a whole joke in between those two lines, right? Oh yeah, there was a whole setup, and it was long, and like, rambling, <laughs> and it had nothing to do with ass wiping. <laughs> the bear wipes his ass with I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. <laughs> I sat here with rapt attention. <laughs> God, I wish I could remember the premise. Whatever you're imagining, it was worse than that. Well, maybe you could probably Google it. It's like, what's the joke where the rabbit... where the bear wipes his ass with a rabbit? You know what? That's a great idea. Hold it's gotta on. be a real joke, right? He didn't come up with it. Unless he was making it up on the fly, and which it certainly so could have been strange. the case. <laughs> Punchline of joke where bear wipes ass with rabbit. Thank you, Siri. <laughs> okay. All right. Did you find it? Yes. Oh my god. All right, I gotta know it. A rabbit and a bear were both squatting down side by side, having a poop in the woods. <laughs> the bear turns to the rabbit and says, Do you ever get poop stuck in your fur? The rabbit replies, nope, not really, so the bear wipes his ass from him. <laughs> okay, that's actually way better. That's way more succinct. <laughs> that's a good bit. That's funny. Well, because that guy said it in like ten words when this dude used maybe a thousand. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so the bear wipes his ass with <laughs> That's how I'm gonna tell that joke from yeah, now on. Yeah, please do. So the bear wipes his ass with <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Whoops! I feel like that was survivable. You know. If I just- if I just did my little fuck in the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you do the fuck move, like, close enough to the ground. Parrying. Apparently if you, like, roll... Mm -hmm. if you, like, oh, you, real, at the right moment, yeah, you can, you can kind of survive. Cool, like a really, really fast fall. 
Excellent. There was, um, there was a woman who was in, like, a parachuting accident. And, uh, her parachute didn't open all the way. Uh -huh. it's, it's on video. Uh -huh. And she just hits the ground, and you're like, oh, that's it for her. Did, did she, um... But she survived. Did it open part way? Yeah, yeah, but she, she, she was like, but it was, like, as far as I know, it was, like, pretty close to terminal velocity. Wow. She was just, like, spinning and falling. Oh, no. Um... And she and she just like spent but the way that the the parachute was like spinning her mm -hmm. sort of forced her into this kind of like rolling position where when she hit the ground she kind of like transferred her energy in a different direction other than down. Wow. And then she survived. I mean she must have been pretty beat up, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That would just any anytime anytime your parachute does anytime you hear the word parachuting accident. Yeah. There's no good scenario. <laughs> oh, I accidentally had two parachutes yeah, and I went down yeah. too slow. <laughs> oh, I very, another accident. <laughs> very gently hit the floor. No, oh, man. My parachute was made out of delicious pizza. I didn't even jump out of a plane. <laughs> what an accident. I just ate. <laughs> <laughs> I just ate. Yeah. It was delicious. I often wonder what happened to that person. Oh my god. Who was getting- oh, oh. What?! You're telling me a, like a fucking drop of that potion didn't hit my lips before I got hit? I- man, I, I was only half paying attention because I was trying to think about what I'd say and I was like, Oh man, and on the run where you beat the troll too, and then you turn around and the troll's right there. I was like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> um. I often wonder what became of that person who was being airlifted by the helicopter and starts spinning around wildly. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was everywhere for a hot second. That shit is so funny to watch and probably so horrific in real life. Oh my god, are you kidding? I fucking- I want- when the teacups at Disney go too fast in circles, I want to die. <laughs> I can't imagine what that person went through. Yeah. There's so much stuff like that in life that exists. It's like, that was the funniest shit I've ever seen. Oh, did his skull crack open and he bleed it out? Bleated. Yeah. <laughs> like a sheep. Uh, yeah, yeah. I... Dude, honestly, like... That's what... That's what half the, the world's... Humor and culture is based on. It's funny when it's not you. Yep. Fucking little... Little schadenfreude. There, fucking word for it. Yeah. It's not even in English. There was there was that um there was that old Jack Handy deep thoughts where he's like whenever I see a man fall over my first instinct is to laugh but then I think what if I was an ant on the ground and he fell on me then it wouldn't seem quite so funny you know like just those like just that dumb kind of like yeah shit sucks <laughs> Shit sucks from Rung's perspectives, bro. <laughs> That's what- <laughs> I don't know if I can make this joke on the show. Probably not, then. <laughs> if you have to stop and think that. Well, it's not- it's not a it's not a bad joke, it's just- it's, it's, a, it's a topic that I think people would be uncomfortable hearing about. Okay. I just won't make the joke. But it, it's- it's akin to- you remember when we made the joke on the- on the show? Uh, <laughs> we were talking about Fred Flintstone and Fred Flintstone's friend. But yeah, like that. Barney Rubble. Yeah, where yeah. you just like replace something terrible yes. with something that's like yes, it's completely not that, and well, you're like really makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that was those were um, if I recall correctly, that was because we were talking about Repo Man, uh, which is famous for its whoa, Loretta. Loretta looks tough as hell. Yeah, Loretta's no joke. Um... Oh! Oh no. Can I not horseback battle her? Repo Man is this movie from the 80s, which is very well- we probably talked about it on the show. M the, the thing it's most well known for is the versions that were on TV where they would like dub over the curse words. Yeah. Um, but they chose very strange words to replace them with. So, like, Motherfucker became Melon Farmer. And like, this mullen farmer, like, it was just, and that's when we started getting silly. <sighs> Excuse me with the replacements. Hi, Borf. I just made eye contact with Borf. Ew. I know. Second base. <laughs> <laughs> 
was, I kind of kind of loved it. Whoa! -ho -ho. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Aaron's fighting the Royal Light Knight Loretta. I'm getting his ass handed to I'm him. I'm not getting my ass handed to me. And I did it first. Here come, here comes the ass. Bro. The handing of the ass. You have a bit more faith. Okay. You get in, you get out. Oops, oops, oh. oops. <laughs> You're doing much better this time. Oh. Are you focused extra hard because Borf is watching? No. Fuck. Alright, he died. Don't no. make that face at me, Borf. <laughs> That's a classic, you got your ass handed to your face. Did you see how thick that horse was? That was, uh, that was pretty thick. Damn. Oh, I noticed right away. Where are you going with, with all that? <laughs> <laughs> Did that Pokemon Smasher Pass really awaken something? I'm, dude, you kidding? I was already awake. There's a lot of deer ass in that video that you were very eager for. I wouldn't say very <laughs> eager. I was I placed- You could have said past all of them. I was placed in a position- No, I, you know what? I was passing on a lot, and you suggested that I was a prude. <laughs> yeah, and you could have stuck to your guns. It's a no-win situation. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being yourself, Dan. Yeah. It sounds like yourself came out. <laughs> I came out of the stable. Yeah, you came out to play. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit, Loretta, dude. God damn. All right. Come on, come on. There you go. All right, come at me, bro. This music is great. Yeah. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Fucking swords. You should call some friends, dude. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, you really need to. That's right. You've only done one eleventh of damage to this character. Dogs, assist! Lone wolves. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> I call three lone wolves! <laughs> They're alone together, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just like us on the internet. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Damn. Don't kill the wolves. It's rude. Oh, hell yeah. Wolf, you fucked up my thing! Mm. I'm never gonna stop calling you lone wolves. We are ah, the lone rangers! Shit. Okay. You died. And this is fine, though. This is fine. It's, I should have summoned- Look at that Borker. Still doing his best. <laughs> You're right, I should have- I should have called the wolves before. Leaving hostile signs. Well, blowing up someone's house is about as hostile a sign as you can leave. <laughs> what? Call, call some people. Uh, no, I, don't go in there! I can only do it once I enter. Oh, I thought you had to do it before the smoky yeah. ring. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean the wolves, I meant like a friendly dude. Oh, this isn't- dude... This game doesn't work like that. Really? Yeah, they- there's only people for like... I mean, I can try and maybe I'm wrong on this one. Mm -hmm. Just because this one's particularly challenging, maybe. But, when, when they're not like plot bosses, there's nobody there. Wow. So, what you're telling me is that everyone considers Royal Knight Loretta so easy that you well, should be able just, to take her by her yourself? It's optional. Ah. So it's like, no, nobody's like dying to get this fucking, this one done. I see. Will you be able to call further lone wolves? Yeah, uh, I think so. Okay. I don't think I've actually ever done it, but... Oh, you should, you should then do it. So I still got a lone wolf now. Yeah. Properly named. I'd get out of there, dude. Alright, swords. Like, why not just let the wolf fight? Because the wolf's doing no damage. The wolf is purely there to distract him. Oh. Mission accomplished. Oh. Boy, that wolf is awesome. Oh. Wolf's dead. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Alright, all right. let's see if I can call more wolves. Nope. Ah, oh, I it's, should. It's a one wolf only. It's a one lone wolf pack. Oh shit, he's got a crossbow! Oh, damn. And... come on. 
Oh, he's got like new moves now. Is it a he? Oops. She, yeah, I guess Loretta's a girl name. Traditionally. Woo! That's my grandmother's name. Loretta? Yeah. I like it. Whoa! Nice, nice. Oh, 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 oh okay. All oh, right. Oh, drinkies. Have the drinkies. Oh. It's okay, it's fine. Just need one clean hit. Maybe drinky more? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely now. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Oh, oh that, drinkies. That a little longer than I thought it would be. That would have been Whoa! The perfect temper. <laughs> That's what she said, joke, but I just didn't have the heart. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's Stop! a lot. Stop! <laughs> there we go. Yeah! Great job. Woo! Alright, Loretta. Yeah, I got Loretta's Great Bow! That's great. And Loretta's Slash. Oh, I didn't even get my runes back. <laughs> thank you. Hmm. Mm, thank you. I would love it if Loretta's Slash is just a move where you start playing Sweet Child of Mine. <laughs> <laughs> you would have to fucking pay so much in licensing fees or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough runes to level up. Loretta didn't give me She's enough. She's got rings of the elden kind. <laughs> 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 That's good. Thank you. Oh, it's the three sisters. That's cool. So there's these three um, towers of, of all the, the Ronnies. Oh. Yeah. This I one's, see. uh... This one's whose? Rena's Rise. Okay. That's your girl. Ronnie's Rise. No, Ronnie's my girl. Ronnie? Yeah. Oh, yes. Sorry. Rena was the... Rena was the goofy hat. I think that was Renala. Oy, yeah, so it's <laughs> Rena, Ronnie, and Renala. And then there's a dragon here. Mm. And this dragon, <laughs> let me tell you, He's pissed! Yeah. Good dude. Good dude, that I'm gonna dragon. get him! I'm gonna get him! Oh! Didn't like that, did ya? Right in oh. the foot! Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Hmm. Oh, he's facing you. That's not as good. Oh, I'm not doing so much damage on this fucker, am I? Nope. Oh, no, this one's pretty good. Is it? It's okay. It's not like the best or anything. Damn, look at that blue flame. It's pretty cool, right? That is awesome. I've got rings of the Elden King. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Oh. Oh. I'd hate to look into that blood and see an ounce of taint. <laughs> you should just change like police sirens to the <laughs> intro of Sweet Child. Of oh my God! No one would move. Everyone would be like, <laughs> "Let me block this and rock out to it for a little while." <laughs> I don't hear that. Have you ever pissed off a cop by like not pulling over? Because I don't know. I, I've done it. Like I didn't think he was after me, so I just kind of like pulled to the side but kept rolling, and then he'd be like, "Pull over," you know, like on. Have you ever had that happen? Uh, n no. I, well, maybe. It's yeah. very upsetting. Yeah. Well, it, it, I mean, the situation I was in. And I'm usually in. It's just like there's no good place to pull over. Yes. So it's yes. Like, so it's like, should I just like block traffic? That happened or? to me on a bridge one time. Yeah. I'm like, what? You, where? Do you want me to drive into the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Actually, like, it wasn't a uh, it wasn't an ocean bridge. That would have been very long. Yeah. So then, it, so then it occurs <laughs> to you, like, okay, how much time does it take before this is like a police chase? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, I'll pull over as soon as the bridge is done, I- yeah. I swear. Yeah, cause you, you- you- I realize you have a speakerphone, and you can tell me things. Yeah. I don't have that. Yeah. And if I lean out my window and scream back at you, well that's not gonna help my cause. Yeah, that's gonna- <laughs> that's gonna make it seem worse. For sure. I've got bad options and worse options here. <laughs> wow, look at this. This is beautiful. Can you look out onto the countryside? Hey, it's my girl! That's her? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. Yeah. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty. Wait, what? Tarnished, 
I believe I told you my name was Rena. Yeah. <sighs> wow, that person was excited to see her. <laughs> it's like my dog when she gets a new tennis ball. No reason in particular, thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. What? Mm. God, I love her. <laughs> Speak English! <laughs> my service. I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago. Oh. And search now for the dark path. That's pretty cool. Dope. I might one day upend the whole of it. And rid the world of all that came before. So like Halloween's your favorite holiday, right? What if I came before? <laughs> oh, you have roused thy interest of indeed. A choice well made. Thou art a rare. Your coat is so fucking cool. Not many would have accepted the Dude, that's straight up Eileen the Crow's coat. As much of those under my command. When a four-armed witch who said she's stolen death asks you to be in her service, I don't think you say no. Yeah. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. Sorry, we were making jokes while you were explaining the whole situation to me. Hmm. A half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee oh. run him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron. The Eternal City. Well, that sounds fun. I've called for Blythe to greet thee below. Oh. Take from him the particulars. That's our boy. That's oh. Wolfhead boy. Let's take his particulars. Thou find E.G., my war counselor, <laughs> and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous art. Okay, I know where E.G. is. I don't know where Salavis is. Not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I'm sure the others will be doing just the same. Well then. He's telling me to take advantage of your friends? Speak I don't know. Three who await thee. Thou need as soon as she said them and particulars, I started thinking of my buddy Andy, who used to... I worked with him in the Harley Davidson shop. Yeah. And he used to say crazy stuff all the time. I loved him. And one of the things he said once was, Oh man. You know, I used to think the doctor you would say turn your head and cough because he felt bad looking in your eyes while he's fondling your particulars. <laughs> <laughs> that will be in my head forever. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, E.G. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. What, did she email you? <laughs> the Karian royal family. It was quite wordy and I didn't like, really read the whole thing. Like I just ran down here. I'm told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can. Will you smith my weapon? Pray for your success. Will you smith my weapon for free? Nope, I'll pray for you though. Let well, thanks. We can of ourselves together for Lady Rani. Dude, I'll give everything to Rani. Easy now. What? She's hot. I need you to find the great warrior. Dave. Dave Blademaster. <laughs> Dave of Glendale. <laughs> oh, what's up, I'm Dave. I heard about you. Good to finally meet. Name's Blythe. Oh, that's him. Yep. Sworn sword to Mistress Rani. Glad to have you aboard. Well, getting right to business. <laughs> Just whips it out. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> You're in my service, <laughs> so you must service me. See if I can't find the road. Said you would give everything to her. Huh. I'm going below oh, did the well in the did Ronnie not mention you. the wolf dick? <laughs> <laughs> it's twice as large as a man's dick. Mm. Might have to unhinge your jaw a little bit. I see. You must be Ronnie's new hireling. Oh, I don't like you so much. Get back into the wolf room. <laughs> Are you trying to skirt your wolf dick sucking responsibilities? <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. 95% of your quests will involve wolf, wolf dick. Since we have the misfortune. I don't think there's going to be a moment of peace without a wolf dick in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And this isn't any ordinary wolf job. This is a wolf quest. <laughs> Come and pay me. Should you wish to be? If it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time. This is a wolf career. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have fun. It has been a long time since Wolf Job. Uh, oh yeah, man. Wolf Job's legendary. That was almost before I joined Game Grumps, I think. What? Wait, what the? F Why can't I leave? Er? Maybe because there's a certain. <laughs> 
dick. <laughs> <laughs> that requires attention. Was I supposed to do something with those guys? I don't know. We were making dick jokes the entire I know, time. I, I really, I'm sorry. Sorry, really everyone. I wasn't paying sorry. attention to what they were saying. Okay. So they're, I mean, they were all generally saying, like, come meet me where I am. And it's like, but you're here. I'm meeting you. And then, and then Blyde's what, like, no. Was that actually them, or were, were those astral projections? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Pay me, should you. If it were up to me, I would, but... Okay. But I can't leave, see? That's the whole thing about this whole situation. Ah, yeah. back for more. <laughs> you wait. <laughs> ah. You haven't noticed that you're the perfect height for this kind of responsibility. <laughs> Let us give all that together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so should I just go back up to Ronnie and be like, yo, I met your friends, they're fucking weird. <laughs> I sucked the wolf one's dick. <laughs> She's like, oh, did he trick you into that? <laughs> um, Probably should have warned you about that. Hat guy hates you? Yeah, he hates everyone. Yeah. EG's cool, though. Yeah. Seems pretty dope. He's all right. He's got, like, stained glass helmet or whatever. Ronnie, I met your friends. And I shall soon enter my slumber. What? And it will be some time before I wait. No. <laughs> this doll's body is not without its hindrances. Doll. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. Okay. Wow. I shall and it will be so I have high look forward okay. to the good news. Okay. Can I leave now? Okay, I can leave. Okay, sweet. Woo! Well, I guess I'll go chat with EG. I know where he is. He was the big city dude? Uh, yeah, he was the one who was hammering away, and he was yeah. like, Oh, watch out, I'm strong. There he is. Hey, bud. Hi, EG. Damn, you were just there, huh? It's my fellow. Hey, bird. Lies is Lady Rani's stepbrother. Oh. Rani's mother, Queen Renala, approved of him, and they played like siblings from childhood. They were always happy to have me tag along as well. I always when accidentally Lady crushed all their toys in a comedic manner. <laughs> Oops, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd crush another. None of us will ever forget our earliest days together. What are you going to do about it, I would then say. <laughs> I'm 35 feet tall. <laughs> is honest to a fault. But fortunately, now he has you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, I stabbed your anvil. The eternal city of Noxtella. <laughs> no, I haven't. Well, it has a twin, known as Nokron, the other eternal city. Okay. After years of expeditions, we've determined the location of Nokron by going under it's in Ohio. <laughs> through the well in the middle. No, that's Akron. Oh, uh, fuck. All right, back to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> Find a path leading to the city. Blythe's made a good go of it, but I'm afraid this has him quite stumped. Oh. To be honest, I'm not sure where to go from here. <laughs> you and me both, brother. <laughs> so next time on. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, no, he says the same shit. Okay. Next time on Game Grubs, we will. Uh, We're gonna find Nokron. That's it. We're gonna go to Ohio. Yep. We'll make a stop in Cleveland. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, chill out for a little bit, Get go to the Taco Bell Cantina. Yep, Pro Football Hall of Fame. And then uh, in Canton, and visit the high school where LeBron James went to. LeBron James! And then uh, and then we'll find Nakron. Yep. In that order. Yeah. Alright, bye. Bye. So, Nakron? <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous.